I'm vivacious, eccentric, and I'm a Scorpio. P. Diddy, man, what are you doing? Guys, you would not believe some of the things that P. Diddy's exes have been saying about him. You know, it was it was a big problem. In fact, P. Diddy has been in some absolutely ridiculously toxic relationships, but most of the time, he's been the problem. So let's take a look at some of the ridiculous things that P. Diddy's girlfriends have claimed about him. You know, and find out what's going on and be by, you know. Starting off with Cassie Ventura, who just accused Diddy of taking advantage of her in a intimate way. In a complaint that was filed in 2023, Cassie claimed that Diddy tried to sign her to Bad Boy Records and then tried to start a romantic relationship with her even though she was already dating someone else. She says Diddy would kiss her without her permission and that she felt pressure to go along with his advances because she was worried about how it might affect her career. Work. It feels, I mean obviously there's a little bit of anxiety. And see, this was going on for a little bit of a while because when Cassie was 19, Diddy did sign her to his record label and they actually started dating and in 2016 TMZ reported that Cassie tried to break up with Diddy but he allegedly took her phone because he suspected her cheating so then Cassie's mother called the police out of concern and no charges were filed from that particular case but Cassie stayed dating Diddy. You know Puff has been so understanding with everything so it's good. Two years later Cassie ended her relationship with Diddy for good and according to someone named Love B. Scott she wasn't happy because because Diddy was seen with two other women. These were models, Jocelyn and Gina. And after the breakup, Cassie would end up uh, stirring the pot, I guess, by writing a bunch of stuff on her Instagram story that's too explicit to say on this channel. However, just know that she ended up showing P. Diddy some love a month later and wished him a happy birthday on Instagram. So, I don't know. But Cassie didn't talk much about her relationship with P. Diddy for years. Any relationship work, if it is working, is, you know, just not talking about it too much. Until 2019 in an Instagram post, she shared that there was a time when she wasn't feeling her best while dating him. And in this post, there was a photo of Cassie sitting beside a window and she was looking outside and the pic had the caption, this photo was taken of me in New York on May 31st, 2017. I feel sad for the girl in the picture because I know the personal demons that she was battling. Jennifer Lopez is our next victim who accuses P. Diddy of being extremely unfaithful. Surprise. But the J-Lo and P. Diddy relationship was actually one for the, I don't know, the ages of gossip, just in terms of ridiculousness alone. J-Lo and P. Diddy basically hit a rough patch really early on when they were both arrested, and that attracted a lot of negative attention. Charges against J-Lo were quickly dropped, but P. Diddy was actually somehow acquitted with a firearm situation in Manhattan, and J-Lo basically tried to shift away from the incident, and it kind of worked because we haven't heard about it in 20 years. Their relationship ended up lasting until 2001, but J-Lo just kept having too many concerns about P. Diddy being, you know, unloyal and unfaithful. She thought that he was always out partying with other women and she would express her concerns about his fidelity. And here's the thing, like she even made a song called If You Had My Love, um, in which she actually spoke about it in an interview saying that it took a toll on her emotional well-being. But despite all the challenges, J-Lo acknowledged that P. Diddy taught her some valuable lessons about the music industry. And in a 2019 interview, she said that it really did play a significant role in her life. Misa Hilton thought P. Diddy was bitter. See, Misa Hilton is a renowned stylist who's actually known for working with hip-hop legends like Lil' Kim, even Mary J. Blige. And she began her career at just 17 years old with support from her then-boyfriend, Mr. P. Diddy. I don't know, age warning? I'm not really sure what's going on here, because he was five years older. However, she shared with BET at the time that P. Diddy actually asked her to style a certain band after he received a promotion at Uptown Records, and she said that she would finish high school, yes, high school, early, and she would get out and, I don't know, just about noon, and would just go sit at Uptown Records. And then when she was 19, her and Diddy had a son together named Justin. Right after they had a son, P. Diddy began dating Kim Porter. But what's crazy here is that the relationship actually was a little bit nuts more recently in 2023 when their son Justin got arrested for a DUI 
And then on Misa Hilton's Instagram story, she basically suggested that P. Diddy was setting a bad example for their son. As well as doing a 2010 interview on a radio station, Misa Hilton opened up about Diddy's infidelity, once again, common theme, I don't know, you tell me, revealing that he cheated on her with a former friend named Kim and another friend, Sarah Chapman, before having children with both women. Yeah. So Hilton suggested that P. Diddy was basically bothered by the fact that she didn't want to engage in a more intimate relationship with him. And this was actually what she believes led to him paying more child support to her. She claimed that he's still bitter and that when you can have everything, sometimes you can't have that one little thing that you're not used to that. It can really destroy a relationship. And apparently she's been receiving about 5,500 bucks monthly. And you know, I mean, at the end of the day, child support is child support, but they only had one child together and they just don't seem to be on great terms. She expressed disappointment when she had to resort to legal action and suggested that it just didn't reflect well on P. Diddy as the perception basically projects that he wants the public to have a certain perception of him but the reality is that she's just here asking for money. I don't know, Hollywood drama, am I right? But this is just the start because let me tell you, some of the claims made by previous girlfriends of P. Diddy are just off the charts ridiculous. Pete Diddy has some really dark facts about him that are not well known. Guys, you want to stick around for this one. They're quite shocking and you'll want to hear them. Oh. Diddy has quite the rap sheet and we're not talking about songs. He was arrested in 2015 after an argument with a UCLA football coach ended with him in custody. According to TMZ, Diddy was watching his son Justin's football practice when Sal Alosi was riding Justin screaming intensely at him, and that's when Diddy reportedly stepped in, having words with the coach in his office that resulted in Diddy allegedly grabbing the man. The hip-hop mogul was arrested for getting into a physical altercation with UCLA football conditioning coach Sal Alosi. Sal Alosi allegedly refused to speak with Diddy, resulting in Diddy threatening to call the police. Sources told the publication that Diddy insists he grabbed a kettlebell and held it up in a defensive position, but did not attack the coach with intent to injure. Um, Sean Combs was allegedly charged for this. A representative for Diddy released a statement to the Associated Press saying the various accounts of the event and the charges that are being reported are wholly inaccurate. What we can say now is that any actions taken by Mr. Combs were solely defensive in nature to protect himself and his son. You know, it was it was a big problem. It was just a miscommunication. Following the incident, the LA District Attorney's Office decided not to file assault charges against him. Diddy is also facing some shocking allegations against him from his ex-girlfriend, Gina Hun. In a 2019 interview with Tasha Kay that has resurfaced, the model says she dated Sean Combs for five years and was repeatedly mistreated by him. Gina claims she and Diddy started dating while he was on a break from his longtime girlfriend, Cassie, but the relationship was riddled with physical mistreatment. The the allegations that she spoke about are horrendous. Unfortunately, we can't repeat them here due to the risk of being flagged. But you're more than welcome to Google and search them up. He like stomped on my stomach like really hard. And Sean Combs is not on good terms with his ex-girlfriend Cassie, especially after she claims Diddy blew up a car in a fit of rage. The pair dated for over a decade before ultimately calling it quits in 2018. According to Entertainment Weekly, Cassie filed a federal complaint against Diddy and alleged that he blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically interested in Cassie. Cassie went on to explain that her ex-boyfriend frequently reminded her of his ability to cause serious harm. That said, musician has been revealed to be Kid Cudi, whose representative confirmed Cassie's complaint in a statement. Cassie Cassie claimed that she and Kid Cudi were romantically involved while she was on a break from Sean Combs in 2011. Upon learning of a correspondence between Kid Cudi and Cassie, Diddy allegedly attacked the artist. I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! In the following year, Kid Cudi's car was found exploded in his driveway. Sean Combs' attorney denied the allegations, describing them as riddled with baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation seeking a payday. In a 2016 interview on The Howard Stern Show, Usher admitted that his mentor L.A. Reid sent him to live with Combs in New York City when he was kickstarting his career. The singer called it a curious experience and left a lasting impact on him. Usher revealed that he was up until the early hours of the morning alongside some of the rap industry's biggest stars at the time. When asked if he would place his own under Diddy's wing, he responded, heck no. Federal investigators have searched Diddy's properties in Miami and Los Angeles amid an investigation 
TMZ also caught footage of P. Diddy pacing around the Miami airport just hours after the raids began in his homes where he was reportedly stopped by customs. While he wasn't detained, it was reported that he and members of his entourage were questioned by federal agents after flying on his private jet. The investigation comes months after Diddy denied claims lodged against him by his former girlfriend Cassie. At the time of this video, P. Diddy's whereabouts remain unknown. Federal investigators prevented Diddy from departing the Miami airport on his way to the Bahamas prior to takeoff. This was according to NBC News. He continued to maintain his innocence in light of the accusations, claiming he was involved in a scheme. So all in all, I think we can agree that if these claims are true, Diddy is not a very good person. Some of us are really hoping he goes down hard. Why isn't Jennifer Lopez saying anything about this? First, I, I didn't like him at all. You know, I didn't. I thought he was like... Well, P. Diddy actually had a lot of celebrity allies, some that you would never believe. In fact, there seems to be some need to actually expose who these people are because they refuse to expose what they know about P. Diddy. You know, and find out what's going on and be by, you know. And it seems like staying away from the news surrounding P. Diddy actually might be the smart move for these A-list celebrities that we know so well. So let's talk about some of the most influential celebrities who have these close ties to Diddy, yet actively refused to expose him. Ashton Kutcher, whoa. Did you know that Ashton Kutcher and P. Diddy are actually best buds in the business? It's going a little bit though. I'm it's losing. going? Yeah. I'm Kutcher revealed that, you know, they have a sort of bro-like relationship. And while Ashton Kutcher was on the show Hot Ones on YouTube, he revealed that him and Diddy are sort of these goof boys together and he said that they became fast friends, they used to hang out and just watch football together. Probably eat wings, order pizza, drink beer, the old classic of bros. But Ashton, however, has been abnormally quiet ever since P. Diddy's been tangled up in some legal woes. You know, it was it was a big problem. The word on the street is that Ashton Kutcher is playing it safe to protect his own side. A source told the Daily Mail that there's just no way that Ashton or Mila Kunis are ever going to stick their necks out for Diddy right now. Even though they go way back, Ashton's been keeping his distance ever since the lawsuit was brought upon P. Diddy. Diddy, and especially now with all the new drama, there's just no point of even saying anything. And it looks like Mila Kunis is not having any of it either, because she's put her foot down. She's making sure that Ashton keeps his distance from Diddy and says nothing. A source close to Mila Kunis claims that Mila's not taking any chances. She will not let Ashton be in any sort of contact or have any thing to say regarding P. Diddy. It's like it's starting to go. Right. But I'm a baseball cap guy, so I think I'm okay. And apparently there are rumors that a subpoena could be coming Ashton's way, so for that we shall wait to see what happens. Ooh, remember this guy? The one that performed at the Super Bowl? Usher, that's his name. Back in the early 90s, Usher, just a 14 year old rising pop star, actually lived with P. Diddy after scoring a record deal in LA. It was supposed to be a sort of mentorship relationship with Diddy showing Usher the ropes in the music game, but hey, it also meant that Usher got a front row seat to P. Diddy's party scene. And let's just say that young Usher partied. In a chat with the Rolling Stone magazine back in 2004, Usher said some crazy stuff. He claimed that there were always girls around. You'd open a door and see somebody doing it, or several people in a room having fun as a group, if you get my gist. He never knew it was gonna happen. Yep, apparently that was just another day at P. Diddy's crib with 14 year old Usher crashing on the couch. Fast forward though to 2016, and Usher was a little bit more uh, tight lipped to say about those wild times. When he was asked about the parties on the Howard Stern show, he played a cool all uh, laid back, calling it pretty wild, and admitting that he didn't fully get what was going on, probably because he was just the age of a, I don't know, middle schooler? But as of now, P. Diddy's got those legal troubles that we all know about, and Usher's been keeping a low profile. Coincidence? I think not. In fact, it's probably best that Usher just keeps his mouth quiet, says nothing, and continues on with his life for now until he might be hit with that subpoena, but let's just see where the tide takes us. On to Naomi Campbell. Back in 2002, there were whispers about P. Diddy and supermodel Naomi Campbell being a romantic thing. And while they've never actually confirmed it, they've stayed tight over the years and even pop up together at events. And Naomi did once rave about their bond, saying that hanging out with Diddy is quote unquote always an adventure. She said, I just never know what's gonna happen with Puff. That is what the P stands for. It's always something magical. I went to dinner with him a few weeks ago and after dinner, we ended up in a recording studio with four boys 
boy band groups auditioning. It was the most amazing talent. This is why for me, when I'm with him, I just roll with it. I love his company, I love his demeanor, I love his love towards me, and I love our friendship. And you know what, Naomi? I bet you don't love him now, do ya? Fast forward though to November 2023, Naomi threw P. Diddy a little birthday bash in London with stars like Janet Jackson and Idris Elba in attendance. But now with P. Diddy's legal drama, Naomi seems to be keeping her distance. And after Cassie's lawsuit news broke against P. Diddy, Naomi actually quietly removed pictures from her party off of Instagram. And she's been keeping real quiet and for good reason. Because let me just tell you, Naomi, you don't want to get involved with this. On to L-I-L Kim. I guess that stands for Lil Kim. P. Diddy's friendship with Lil Kim goes way back to the 90s when she was signed to the Notorious B.I.G.'s record label. Even though Kim and Diddy got tight over the years, she never actually inked a deal with his label. In fact, she claims that Biggie actually brought her to Puffy. She once told MTV News in an interview that he said she's too pretty to be rapping and female rappers don't look like her, so what am I supposed to do with her? I don't know, if that's a pickup line, uh, 5 out of 10. Apparently they've actually had a pretty rocky relationship throughout the years though, and they became close recently as Lil' Kim shared a picture for his birthday, yet she has yet to say anything regarding the lawsuits. But I feel like she knows a little bit. And last but not least, the one we've all been waiting for, Charlie Sheen, <laughs> no, Jennifer Lopez. Although Charlie Sheen hasn't said anything either. Back in 1999, P. Diddy began dating Jennifer Lopez for two years before they split up in 2001. Later on in an interview, J.Lo would attribute their breakup to P. Diddy's infidelity, revealing that he was in fact the first man to go out and cheat on her. She said, I was in this relationship where I was going nuts and it really took my whole life and put it into a tailspin. I never caught him cheating, but I just knew. He'd say he was going to a club for a couple of hours and then never come back for the night. See, JLo and Diddy remained actually somehow on good terms, reuniting at a residency party back in 2019 where they did share an intimate hug. And then in 2021, Diddy actually posted a throwback pic of him and JLo with fans accusing him of taking shots at her silently and through cryptic message, yet he explained that it wasn't about trolling, she was just his friend, and that he didn't have anything to say about her relationship or her life. And it seems that if you were in JLo's best interest, P. Diddy, perhaps you wouldn't have even posted anything. And it would be in JLo's best interest to not say anything about the P. Diddy situation, and it seems like she hasn't, and she won't. So which of these celebrities surprise you the most? Do you think that we're gonna get any of them speaking up on P. Diddy? And if we do, which one of them is most likely? Would it be J-Lo? Would it be Ashton Kutcher? Would it be Usher? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments because as this P. Diddy story continues to unravel, we're just getting more and more and more juice and FTD news. We're like, oh my god, what's next? So yeah. From the team here at FTD News, I'm your host Pepe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a splendid day.